Absolutely. One of the things we wanted to focus on when developing the Maxisys Ultra was speed. Speed of getting you the information that you need to be able to run your business. And that includes identifying cars that are coming into your shop. And we can do that in multiple different ways on the Ultra tool. Now, you can see here that I have the screen projected onto this TV here. We're doing that via cast. We're doing that via wirelessly. And you can do the same thing in your shop if you want to because well, that's how we roll here at Autel. So we're going to select Diagnostics. And we're going to select VID. This is new to the Maxisys Ultra tool, and that stands for Vehicle Identification Detection. We're going to select the VID, and that's going to give us three separate options. Auto Detect, Manual Input, and Scan VIN and License. Auto Detect is going to be what you're used to. That's Mode 9. That's giving us the information the car is providing. Year, make, model, engine size, and VIN number. Manual Input is to physically type the information into the tablet of the VIN number of the vehicle. And then Scan VIN and License. This is new, and you're going to love this. This gives us the ability to scan the VIN number and the license plate to input that information into the tablet. So let's see how that works. Let's select Scan and VIN License. You're going to see here on the right side of the screen, you have multiple options. The first option down here on the left is going to be to scan the license plate first. So if you already have seen this vehicle and you just want to pull it up in the system and see what you've done in the past, you can go right to the license plate, scan that license plate, and the tool will process that information and give you previous scans. The second one is going to be via text. We can scan the VIN number physically and change the letters and numbers into digital into the tablet so we can read that without having to have a barcode. And that's the third option, which is barcode or QR code. Some of the newer cars have a QR code that we can scan, or we can scan the barcode directly from the door. On this particular vehicle, we're going to go ahead and select text. I'm on a 2015 Chevy Volt, and I'm going to let you watch the process as I go through this. So we're going to take this over to the VIN on the car. If you're in a dark situation, there is a flashlight there at the top right. And you can see it's that fast that it gives us the recognition results from that VIN. We're going to then go here to the back of the car and we're going to scan the license plate. We're going to take that camera and turn it on and we're going to hold that down there by the license plate. And there's our license plate. We're going to confirm that and that is okay. Now, look at the bottom of the screen. You can already see that I have scanned this vehicle before and when I scanned it. This one shows the date and time and how many codes I had the last time I scanned this vehicle. I can actually take that, select it, and see a full health report of this vehicle. Mm, but wait, there's more. Look at the top right corner. There is a top 10, and I can get the top 10 codes of scans right there from that. So I can see my total health picture of what I've done to this car before, any codes that have come in before. Think about this. Think about that returning customer that keeps coming back to your shop. And he says, hey, I have a problem. You go out, you scan his license plate with your Ultra tool, and you come back in and say, hey, Mr. Customer, the last time you were here, you had all these codes. And that way you know if the same codes are coming back right away. You didn't have to go to your repair source information. You already had it directly from your Ultra tablet, and that saves time. Let's back right back out of there, and we're going to go ahead and select Diagnose. Now, you see a box optional to enter the mileage on that. I highly recommend it because that would populate in that historical records as well. We're going to select Diagnose, and now we have the option to do a pre-scan or post-scan report from your Ultra device. So if we would want to do that, we can select the repair order number, put that information in, populate our pre-scan, post-scan report, and that is for another time, but that is what the insurance companies love if that's the business that you're in. So we're going to select Stand Alone Diagnostics, and we're going to select OK. If you want to turn that function off, if you don't do pre-scan, post-scan in your shop, no problem. You have that option as well to turn that off under Settings. Here is the new screen for your Maxisys Ultra tool. You're going to have your automatic selection there on the left, manual selection, but you can see we've already read the VIN code, and we did that via the scan, and we're going to select OK. 
It takes all that information and populates the vehicle information. You can see that this one is coming out to be a 2015 Chevy Volt, and it is trying to pull any other information out of the vehicle that it can, including RPO codes and any other information. So we have all the information we need. We're gonna select OK. Now on the left-hand side of the screen, you're gonna see all of our options, auto scan, control unit, hot functions, profile, you're not even paying attention to me. You're looking at the topology on the screen. Yeah, that's new as well. But what is topology? Well, think about this. So before we had our list function where we listed all the different modules and we could scan all those different modules and get the information out of those modules and see what kind of codes they had. Well, same idea, but instead we give you the total picture of what that network looks like. We're going to go ahead and do fault scan so it can go through its process. But think about this. We now know what the network looks like. We know how everything communicates within that network. And now we can see what is working, what is communicating, what is not communicating. And if something's not communicating, is there a module in front of it that is also not communicating? Do we have a communications or a network issue? So as this goes through the process, you're going to see some are turning green. If we look down here at the legend, that means that it passes. You're going to also see that some are turning orange. And if we look down the legend, that means that there's a fault. And we can actually see that on that ECM that there are three faults. Well, maybe you can't see that, so let me show you something cool. We can actually pinch and zoom in on all those different modules. So if you wanted to go through and see all those modules and which ones had codes, pinch and zoom, simple as that. We'll zoom that back out. At the bottom of the screen, you're going to also see the legend. So these are color coded, blue, orange, purple, and yellow. And it talks about which one is high speed CAN, which one is low speed CAN, C CAN, and MS CAN. And now we can identify the network. So if we have a whole section of them dropped off, we say, I already know it's a high-speed CAN, and now we know where to look, and that is the power of topology. So there's lots of information in this screen, but don't forget about the list functions. The list function still has a lot of information in it because if we select list, we also have all those same modules, but we display the codes and their definition, and if it's a history, passed, failed, all on one screen. You can still print that out by going down to your report icon and uh, there's, there's much, much more, but I'm going to let Mike 